Sergeant Hammerstorm at the... Alright, listen up, cheese dick. You're about to take the major slack oath of the orc. You are a pure orc, therefore you may only level up and use the following orc skills. Enchanting. Smithing. Heavy armor. Block. Two-handed. And one-handed. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes sir! You shall not be like the other pure race builds running around Skyrim, murdering innocent civilians and thieving and dealing in stolen goods and generally conducting themselves with the integrity of gutter rats. You are an orc. You belong to a proud race. Therefore, you shall not steal. Repeat after me. I shall not steal. I shall not steal. But what about horses? I shall not steal. I shall not steal. Number two, orcs are known to be master craftsmen. Therefore, it is an abomination to use any weapons or armor you find just lying around. You must craft all weapons and armor that you intend to use in combat. Any weapons and armor you find? must be sold at the earliest opportunity. You may then use the gold you earned to buy resources to produce your own weapons and armor. Repeat after me. I will craft all weapons and armor that I intend to use in combat. I will craft all weapons and armor that I intend to use in combat. One exception to this rule is if you receive any weapon or armor piece as a gift. This is the only exception. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes sir! I will craft all weapons and armor that I intend to use in combat, except if I receive a weapon or armor piece as a gift. Number three, potions are for pussies. Not only is it forbidden to craft your own potions because you're not allowed to use the alchemy skill, but because you are a proud orc, you will not use any potions at all. What, what about healing potions? Potions are for pussies! What did I just say? Potions are for pussies. One exception to this rule is any frostbite venom that you acquired by killing a frostbite spider. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes sir. I may use any frostbite venom that I acquired by killing a frostbite spider. Number four. You are an orc. You are the member of a proud race. You will not rely on handouts. You will not rely on leftovers. You will not rely on table scraps left behind by others. You will produce all food that you intend to consume in combat. You will hunt your own meat. You will catch your own fish. You will grow your own vegetables. Repeat after me. I will hunt, catch, or grow all food I intend to use in combat. I will hunt, catch, or grow all food I intend to use in combat. One exception to this rule is salt pile. Since salt pile cannot be naturally produced, you may purchase salt pile or use any salt pile that you find. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes sir! Any questions? Am I allowed to borrow a horse? Borrow a horse? Borrow a horse? You are an orc! You are the yeah, member yeah. of a proud race! It's considered an abomination, it's considered an abomination to borrow oh, yeah, a yeah. horse. If you wish to own a horse, you must purchase it at a reputable stable for the standard Skyrim sum of 1,000 gold. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes sir! Alright. You have now taken the Major Slack Oath of the Orc. Do you solemnly swear to uphold these sacred Orsinian rules of engagement? I solemnly swear to uphold these sacred Orsinian rules of engagement. And now, to make sure you remember these sacred Orsinian rules of engagement, you should now receive the sacred mark of the Orc. Ow! Fuck! Uh, I mean, uh, am I allowed to curse? Yes, you're allowed to curse. Oh, in that case... Ow! Fuck! What the f***ing hell, dude? Not too much. Just a little bit now and then. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Alright, Hammerstorm. Are you ready? I am ready. Saddle up. Lock and load. Let's do this. Major Slack Attack. Alrighty then, now that everybody's straight with these special hardcore pure orc rules of engagement. Let's get this show on the road. Let's just skip the... Let me just stop everybody from that. Let's just skip the whole be uh, beheading cutscene and get down to brass attacks. Um, and we're going to make our way out of Burning Helgen. Our hands are tied. And Alderman is on the loose.
Done and done. Going with Hadvar because simply because that's the fastest way to get through Helgen Keep. Okay, so sorry, reel up. Untie me, Hadvar. Yep, untie me. Okay, quick squirming around. Untie me. There you go. Done and done. Okay, so the only thing we're going to take is this thing here, the Helgen Keep key. That's it. Yank on the chain. And we're out of here. The only other thing we're going to pick up in Helgen Keep is the Blackbriar Mead. Not taking anything else. Nothing. Nada. Let me just, just negotiate this... Uh, this part here, let me save our stamina. Our cave's in. Let's walk towards this guy and sprint as soon as he moves. Go around the corner. Save your stamina as you go down the stairs. Sprint across this part. Save your stamina. down to the big cave and we're going to cut to the right right here is the big cave jump across here jump across here jump across here just go right past this guy don't worry about him he won't attack you hit the lever sprint away a little bit save your stamina jump over this oh yeah one more thing we're going to take a bag of money right down to the end here all right, take the coin purse, save your stamina for the spider cave, and as soon as you get to the bottom, sprint to the left. Pass the spiders, you can make it poison a little bit, don't worry about it. Over here by the cart. By the cart, you're going to see a bottle of bra black briar mead. Pick that up, it's always there, guaranteed. And that's it. That's the only thing we're going to pick up in Helgen Keep. And we are out of here. Yeah, sorry, fiddling around my mouse here. Okay, and uh, Hadvar didn't make it. Doesn't matter. I've got a special uh, save. For this point, uh, where I have um, all my imaginary imaginator settings set, which will make Skyrim a lot prettier. Okay, so I'm just going to jump ahead to that save, and Hadvar will have joined us by then, and the the opening quest Unbound will be will have been completed. All right, so see you on the flip side. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Here's my boy here, Sergeant Hammerstorm. How do you, Sarge? There we go, Sergeant Hammerstorm. And, uh, yep. All he's got on him, like I said, is a little bit of money, the Black Bar I made, and the Hell Can Keep key. And we're on our way. There's Hadvar. What we're going to do is make our way down to the. eventually to the Guardian Stones, but first we want to go to the Shrine of Talos. So if you just follow, just kind of go north. You're going to find the mountainside here, at the edge of the mountain here. Just. Hug the edge of the mountain here. Got a bandit camp off to the, the uh, right there. Just ignore that. Give that a wide berth. Hug the edge of the mountain here. I have a grass mod installed. Which is why it's so overgrown. And find this path going up here. Grab all this. The money. And grab everything on the Thalmor soldier. Which always includes... An enchanted piece of apparel. Grab all that. Now we're gonna head back to the vent that 
uh, unmarked bandit camp. There it is up there. We're gonna run in and do two things. Make sure your stamina is full charged. And we're gonna run in. Now ain't this a grab these grab these mage robes and grab this one-handed skill book here. Take that. Jump over the wood pile. And go straight through here, past the fallen log. And this will help you get away from the bandits. It's straight down here to the hunter's camp. Done and done. And here we are at the guardian stones. Hook up the warrior stone. Now we're going across the stream. Keep to the right here because you want to avoid some wolves. We have no weapons and no armor, so we're naked as a newborn baby. Here. We're running on empty. We got nothing. So keep away from those wolves. Discover Anisa's cabin. This is important for later on. Then you want to turn towards this uh, group of trees here. Go straight between the second and third one. Drop on down to this ledge. Hook around here. And you're going to find the skeleton of a deer with a flawless emerald inside. Pick that up. Come out here. Jump into the water. Do a little fishing. Try to grab some salmon. This is not going to help much. But whatever you can. Any salmon you catch, you can eat. It's only worth two points of health, but if you get enough of them together, you know, you could mix them with salt pile and make salmon steak for five points of health, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's a waste of salt pile and salt pile are going to be precious. All right, really precious. So for now, we're just collecting them to eat them raw, which is permissible. We, we fished it so we can eat it. Those are the rules. And that's it. We're going to town. And I think I have some more salmon there, whatever. In town, the first thing we're gonna do is talk to Alvor. What happened to you, boy? Shh, Uncle, please. Beard, your voice down. Ask him, will you do you have any supplies I could take? What are you two doing here? Okay, so now we're going to try to keep our the food that we got legitimately separate from any other food. So I'm not going to take any food at all. I'm just going to take um, the hunting brew mead, the Nord mead. And he didn't have a... Uh, doesn't have any potions on him or um, any jewelry. This is rare. Alright, that's it. A dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Hadvar and I escaped together. What? A dragon? In Helgen? Mm hmm. That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was yeah, yeah, yeah. about what I thought it was. A dragon. The Jarl need. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. I can do that. You'll do that for me. Come on inside. At this point, we are friends with Havvar, so we could take all these, these iron ingots here, the steel ingots. And the iron boots and the iron gauntlets. That's it. Not going to steal anything. Across the way to the river with Traitor. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. I don't know what you... Trinkets, odds and ends. That sort of Let's sell off to him. Everything must go because we can't use it. So that goes, that goes. Uh, that's going to be disenchanted, disenchanted, disenchanted. All the iron gear goes. Palmer boots, gloves, potions. Uh, keep the black bar and mead. That goes, that goes, that goes. Keep the salmon meat because we legally fished that. And the flawless emerald. All right. I better get back. About jewelry. 
forgot to mention that. All jewelry, that is rings and necklaces, uh, will be exempt from the rules of engagement. So if you find some jewelry, you're allowed to wear it. However, if I find any jewelry in this walkthrough, I will not be wearing it for the sake of the walkthrough because um, it wouldn't be fair to people following the walkthrough. It's gonna be completely random. The only thing I will be wearing is anything that is guaranteed. For example, uh, at the Hall of the Vigilant, Cleaning the store. By the way, this is going to require the Hearthfire DLC to follow these rules of engagement because obviously um, we're going to be uh, at a severe disadvantage until we can build a house. All right. And um, that's coming up later when we go down to talk to the Jarl of Falkyrie. Give him the Black Bar and Mead, and then he's going to give us a task to kill some bandits out of one, one of five random locations kill that bandit chief come back and he'll give us the option to purchase lakeview manor at which point we can start building a house at that point we can build a garden and a greenhouse and then we can plant some vegetables and then we'll have a supply of potatoes a supply of leeks and then we'll have to go hunting for um venison um and that will solve our power food problem where we can use venison stew to do perpetual power attacks but until then we got nothing and we can also use that supply of potatoes and leeks to make potato soup um which we could use to recover our health because we got nothing we got no potions and we got no food the only thing we got going for us is the salmon we got all right so it's going to be dire straits until we get to that point so that's priority number one um back to what i was talking about uh, for example the hall of the vigilant which is right around here just south of Dawnstar at level 10 it's going to be wiped up by vampires and it's going to be leave a whole bunch of Stendars of Vigilant Vigilance of Stendar there all of whom have a guaranteed amulet of Stendar, Stendar which will give you a 10% bonus to your blocking okay that's one of the items that I will be wearing because everybody can get it it's absolutely guaranteed all right but all other jewelry enchanted jewelry that I find I'll just be disenchanting I won't be wearing it, right? And uh, what else? Boost. I forgot to cover that. What about boost? Slack? Yeah. You can use all boost to recover stamina. However, so that people who want to, you know, cheat their way around the rules of engagement, you you know, just stock up a whole bunch of, just go to, for example, Riften and uh, do a favor for um, Indarin and then get access to like 150 bottles of Black Bright Mead. No, 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 no. Okay, the same rules apply. No taking free booze. All right, if you want booze, you have to buy it at an inn and and you're only allowed to carry three bottles of booze maximum at any one time. All right, so if you're going into combat, that's all you're allowed to take. By the way, ale is the cheapest to buy. All right, you are allowed to stockpile booze. That is, once you have the base of operations, you can go to an inn, buy three bottles, take it back to your base of operations, store it, go back, buy three more bottles, take it back to your base of operations, store it, etc., etc. But at any time, you are no not allowed to carry more than three bottles of booze. So that's it. That's all you're taking into combat. All right? Got that covered? That's mess. it. And we sold off here. Let's go talk to Alvor to get him out of the house and back to his regular routine of being at the Secret. blacksmith station. We have come. Even Take though we already talked to him. Like I said. Okay, I'm that should do it. Help in any way I can. Okay, help we're gonna leave all this food alone. We could take this money here, that's a free game. Like I'm glad to help in any way. Done and done. Next, to the inn. Here, there's always two or three salt pile here. You're gonna leave the food, but take the salt pile and Hard not buy not any loses. salt pile that Let's he may have, that which he may time. not. Mm -hmm. He's got a salt pile. Buy that and next time. rent Your a room. A sure thing. It's yours for a day. Get the well rested bonus. Did you hear me? And have a sleep. Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. 
Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Okay, so we have to make a weapon. With the warrior stone and the well rested bonus, we're gonna make our first weapon. Which will be Take what you an need, iron mace. Within reason, of course. To make an iron mace, we need three iron ingots. We have those, and we need two leather strips. Easmere's beard, you're going to freeze to death. Why don't we have leather strips? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Oh yeah, right. You can ask Alvor. Whatever you need. My Ysmir, if, it's if he needs any strong, help around the forge. I could... Yes, actually. And he will gift you, about you smith me an two iron leather dagger. strips and two Here's iron something. ingots. Need to make one. By the way, that's another thing I'm going to mention. Let's just get it straight. Exactly what a gift is. A gift is any item that an NPC passes directly into your inventory. Nothing else counts as a gift. For example, if you join the Thieves Guild and you come to a certain certain point in the Thieves Guild questline where uh, you get the Thieves Guild gear, Tenelia passes the Thieves Guild, Thieves Guild gear directly into your inventory. That is a gift, even though we could use that because we can't use light armor, but that's just an example of what a gift is. What a gift is not is, for example, when you go out to Soul's Time, you talk to Glover Mallory, he gives you the quest to retrieve his bone mold formula. You go up, you get the bone mold formula, you come back, uh, he gives you the key to his basement, you go into his basement and you, you get to loot his basement. That stuff in his basement is not a gift because it did not get passed directly into your inventory by an NPC. All right, so we're straight on the rules of engagement. It must pass directly into your inventory by an NPC to qualify as a gift. <laughs> Get this all in straight. Okay, so now we have two leather strips. We can uh, make an iron mace. Not too shabby. Apprentice level work, but solid. Okay, this isn't going to last long, but it will do for now. So equip your iron mace. This is our only weapon. We need some more leather. There is a wolf up the hill here. Let's go get him. There's also a mud crab over there. Um, looks like a big mud crab. I want to avoid him. Yes, mud crabs are a force to be reckoned with. Even with armor. <laughs> we have no armor. Alright, so up the hill. By the way, in case you don't know, orcs had this special power, Berserker Rage. You take half damage and do double damage for 60 seconds. You can use this every 24 hours. We're going to be using this frequently in the opening rounds of this run. Okay, so there's a wolf just up ahead. Let's just do a quick save. As soon as he appears, Berserker Rage, do him in. And hope he doesn't give you rock shot. Got him. Great. Got the wolf belt. Back to Riverwood. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Make some leather. And make some leather strips. And, um, just one thing I forgot to do. Let's see if the guy at the end has any ale for sale. This is an ode to Skyrim's. You're that visitor, Ben Coken. We got rooms and food. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. He has two ale. Let's buy him. Done. Just about done.
That's it. That's all we're going to do in Riverwood. Let's get out of here. We are heading north to White Run. Pelagia Farm. Now discovering Pelagia Farm. White Run Stables. Now discovering White Run Stables. <laughs> and into White Run. The main purpose of this is to go up and talk to the Jarl. The Jarl will gift us with some free armor. The kind of armor it gives you all depends on which you have a higher rating in or a high le higher level in. If you have a higher heavy armor level, which we do, he'll give you heavy armor. If you have a higher light armor, he'll give you light armor. So he's going to give us free steel armor. Once again, that's a gift that's going to go directly into our inventory, so we can take that as a gift. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Okay, we could choose this op option, but we're not trying to purposely level up speech, so we're gonna have to avoid that. The Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. The woods in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. I never noticed there's an option to actually pay him to enter this thing. Like All right, so straight up to we'll Dragon's Reach. Takes, oh yeah, wait a minute. Swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order. That's fine. Sometimes bits and bobbles. She has some soft. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Not this time. Wait a minute, no, it's not her. You take it's care of yourself. this guy. It's probably not. Some may call this junk. Me. He has self uh grab that. Good hunting. There's a I wonder if Carlotta has self out too. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Nope. Remember, fresh food and vegetables every day. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Need that self out. Clean mug around. If it's working, drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. She has self pal. Do you have ale? And like I said, we're only allowed to carry three. We have our maximum Need allowable. Else? Just let me know. Amount of booze. All right, let's go talk to the Jarl. Naked orc. What's the meaning of this interruption? <laughs> uh, we have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak Who's to you. Who's this then? So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes. 
We did indeed. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen. Yeah, well, you know, they want to do an uh, Ulfric Storm Cloak, and then the dragon appeared, and we all we all ran away. It was really cool. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. Yeah. What do you say now, Proventus? Okay, just so ignore this, Sergeant Sergeant Hamster. Against the dragon? Just a bunch of politics. We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. Yeah, and I changed his war paint. Lurking in the mountains. Location. <laughs> really badass. Preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. Badass. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yarl. If you okay, me, political mumble I'll jumble over. That would be best. All right, well, give it up, Jarl. Here. There we go. There's our steel armor. Token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay, over to Farringar. Wait an hour. Far Talk to him. Come to you know the deal. The RS uh, you all see I had a project to help me with. Da, 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 da. Well, when I, I say fetch, straight to the po I uh, learned of a And that's it. Retreat the dragonstone. We got that. And that's it. Typically, I would go over here and loot everything in the kitchen, but we're not allowed. Could take it and sell it, but I'm not going to bother with that. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Let's get the uh, the frost salts delivery. White Run will be in your. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. Are you the biggest asshole in White Run? I believe I am. Yes. Oh. Okay. Technically Just... speaking, of course. <laughs> the city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Okay. Ah, so what can we do for you? Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? We sure. could do that. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Even though the, why we would normally do this is to get all the free ingredients. We can't use the ingredients, but she will reward us with three potions. And we can sell those for money. And she has salt pile, which we'll be able to access. Um, let's just wait till morning. Do some salmon fishing in here. I never knew that. Okay. Okay, so we're up to nine salmon. We can recover 18 points of health. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, we're going to kick their asses now. <laughs> and um, we are now allowed to wear this steel armor. I have some frost salts. Ah, oh. My usual fee is three potions. Um, there we go. These potions should suffice. Same potions. What and need, let's just sell them right so back to her. Interested in my potions and ingredients? Not allowed to use them. Sell the bone meal. And back anytime if you need a remedy. we are allowed to do some enchanting, so might as well take these two soul gems here. Everything else, um, could take it and sell it back there, but not going to bother with that. All I really want is the salt pile in these barrels here. Done and done. And that's it. That is it. We're off to a good start. What's next, Slackwall? You have to watch the next video to find out.
So there we go, our pure, our hardcore pure orc is off to a good start. I want to thank you all very much for watching and if this walkthrough helped you out, hey, post a comment. I'd like to hear from my target audience and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stuff like that there. And I'll see you next time for some more pure orc. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.